Guys, I was gonna edit and put some graphics in this video, but guys, you know what? I just need to get this out before anything else happens. This is my prediction of Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, Grand Theft Auto Online. It ain't Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Wanna know why? Because it's a stand-alone thing. It's not the same thing as Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto Online is separate. How? Because it's its own entity. What, how is it its own entity is what you're asking. Okay, I'll tell you. It's its own entity because of this. This is not going to just stop in Grand Theft Auto 5. There, if you didn't know, are new consoles coming this year. And this is going to carry over to them. It's going to carry like a little baby. Like you hold the baby, you're going to carry it over to the next systems. The character that you make is going to carry over. Similar like the crews, how they carried from Max Payne 3 to Grand Theft Auto 5. Your character, your world is going to carry from Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 to Xbox One and PS4. Just like that. That's why it's called Grand Theft Auto Online. It's its own thing. Think of the massive multiplayer online without the massiveness, okay? Uh, it's go not going to have 100 people in the lobby. It's not going to have 50 people in the lobby. Think more along the lines of 32. 26 to 32. I really want to say 32, but I'm not sure. It's a huge map. It's not going to have 16. And if you look at that gameplay video, and I thought I was editing, I would put it right there. You would see it. If you look at the gameplay video, you see that it is 16 people on screen, including the player that we are looking at. But there is a Rockstar dev number 19, which is more than 16, in case you didn't know. So that does mean it's more than 16 people in the game. But we don't see a 20, we don't see a 21, we don't see a 22, whatever. Whatever. Look on that, that map, it's like a whole bunch of blips and dots that are the players and the blips that are the things. What are the blips? What are the things? Guys, I believe they're game types. Game types. Think of Red Dead Redemption. Remember that? When you went to the lobby, then you got in the lobby, and the lobby was a game mode, and you could fight around until the game started, but you still had a menu when you had to choose what game type you wanted to do. Think about that without the menu, okay? Grand Theft Auto V's menu lobby is going to be free mode. It's going to be free mode. You go in there with your crew, you go in, with, go in there with your friends, with your players, whatever. You go there, then you, you drive over to the, to, the, to the bank, you start your cops and crooks. One team's the cops, one team's the crooks. The crooks are doing a heist. They're trying to steal something. The cops are trying to stop it. Think of payday. The heist. You guys connecting this or putting it all in your brain fillers up there? Alright, keep going with me. If you look in that gameplay trailer, you did in fact see the person was standing in a building in some sort of place. He was standing looking out at people. People were doing their things on the street. What is that place? I believe it is their safe house. On Grand Theft Auto 5, you can buy property. Yes, you can buy property. What if some of that property that you buy may co carry with you? I was going to say go, but it may carry with you on line. What if you can have your own safe house on line? What's the point of there being a safe house? Well, you know, they, you can do more things in Grand Theft Auto 5. You can buy vehicles. You can spend money a lot. And if you did look at that gameplay trailer when it went to the multiplayer, we saw that the character had some money in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. He had money. So maybe he's buying things. And maybe he can buy cars. And those cars are stored, ding, 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 at his safe house in the garage. Think of Saints Row. You know, when you get your car, you go to your safe house, you put that car in that garage. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else is there for a safe house? Maybe B, you can go there to change your attire, change your clothes. Remember that menu in Grand Theft Auto 4? No menus, I said. No menus. It's all going to be happening in game. Go to your safe house, change your clothes. What if you don't like the clothes you have? Remember those shops that you could go to in Grand Theft Auto 4, Perseus, you know, all that. You can do it offline. What if you can do that online now? What if you can drive to the Perseus or the thing equivalent to Perseus or whatever you want it to wear, whatever style? You drive to that store, you walk in, think of Saints Row again, change your clothes. Same thing with the tattoo shop. Walk into the tattoo shop, change your tattoos, get some tattoos put on your person. Make your person look like you. There's going to be a Grand Theft Auto online custom creation mode thingy. Make your person look like you. And I think this creation system is not going to be limited like Grand Theft Auto 4's was. Or not even like Max Payne's was. I think it's going to be very broad and big. I think the, the creation system is going to be huge. Huge.
Think of Saints Row without a lot of the silliness. I don't know. My person is going to be here wearing some boxes. That's it. Going to walk around in some heart boxes running around. Yep, that's how my character is. Check me out. If you want to join my crew on Grand Theft Auto V, uh, then, uh, yeah, check me out, guys. We're going to have a big crew. My plan for the crews is this. Okay. If... I'm, if me and my friends, you guys too, we create a crew, right? We all put our, put our say into the name, we create it, right? Then our friends get their friends to join, and their friends to join, and their friends to join, and we get a big collective crew. If we have this huge crew, then we'll have these amazing stats, these amazing, it's just, it's the more, the merrier. Join our crew, please. Now, let's get off to that subject. Let's get off that. I talked about the safe house, talked about all that. Back to the game types. That is how you will make that money. Make that money in the upper right hand corner. Go up by doing game types, by doing heists, by doing things like that. That's how you will get your money. Yes, I know. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Now, before I conclude, I would like to say, I did the green screen thing with no editing, so it ain't no background behind me but green. Anyway, Rockstar, I hope you're watching this because I really am big fans of your work and I love your game. If you didn't know, they updated their website. Check it out in the description below. Check their website out. I know this isn't a channel that you normally go to, forgot the photo news, but hey, whatever. You know, um, I love you guys. And you have something really special with the radio system. The radio system is realistic. It's hilarious. It's, it's unparalleled. You know, games try to mock it and try to be like the Grand Theft Auto radio system, but it can't. And you guys have something special and you guys innovate. So I want you guys to continue to innovate. And I have one thing that I really want you guys to do. It would be amazing. Okay, so. The radio system. You have DJs. One DJ, whenever you mention a Grand Theft Auto DJ that pops in my head, it's always Laszlo because he's in every Grand Theft Auto. Laszlo. Imagine this, guys. What if you did live radio shows? Live radio shows. And this can be done, I'm assuming, because, you know, Xbox 360 had a game called 1 vs. 100, and it was a live game show. It was live. It was broadcast. So I'm, I'm, I, I will assume that, you know, there are some live capabilities um, that can happen online. I'm, ass I'm assuming that. What if guys did live game, like live radio shows, right? With Laszlo, whatever, maybe have it when us can, us, we can call in. Like, what if that, that would, immer the, the immersion in the game will be even more. It would be amazing. I mean, that's a perfect, that's amazing. And then what if, I, I wouldn't even mind paying for that. I wouldn't. Maybe, maybe it goes with, the, like, if I pay, so I'm getting the collector's, collector's edition, right? What if me doing the collector's edition thing, it like helps, I put in the code and it's kind of like a season pass or whatever and I that 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 gives money that way I can participate in the in the live stream or in the re live radio show and I can listen to it that'd be awesome people will pay for that people love you guys we love you I mean that that you you can take advantage of us of something that's awesome we can do it take advantage of the the fans you know we love you as long as it's awesome we don't care if you're taking advantage of us because it's going to be exciting and excellent we love Grand Theft Auto that will be perfect like live shows we could call in do maybe giveaways something I don't know it would be awesome. Man, but that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I am speaking really fast because I'm really excited. This is a direct upload with no editing whatsoever. Did it in one take. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> and as always, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Out. <laughs> out. That's out. Peace out. I can't walk out because I have to press stop. Peace, guys. Later.